Hi everybody, welcome. So here we are, it is Wednesday afternoon. I hope you all are doing very good. Uh, if you notice, I changed my background a little bit. Um, I could have done it upstairs and I could have done it at the kitchen table or the dining room table, but uh, I kind of moved it around and it's kind of pushed back against the wall to give me more room over here. So I have a fuzz on my nose, of course, every time, every single time I do a video, I have like a cat hair on my nose. And if you hear Bella in the background, it's because she has one of those little silicone toys that you stick treats in. And um, yeah, she's trying desperately to get them out. But yeah, this is a much awaited Timu haul. I think I, the last time I did a Timu haul was about eight days ago, maybe nine days ago. And I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait to, to do this haul. I don't even remember what's in it. Um, but I just wanted to do it. I needed to do it. It's just, I don't know. It's just been a funky couple days. So I just needed to do a fun video and see you guys and talk to you guys because I appreciate you so much. And um, as far as our subscribers, our subscribers are going up and I'm so, so, so happy about that. Thank you so much. Uh, but if you're subscribed, please make sure you're still subscribed because for whatever reason, I, even though they're going up, they're going down also. And I don't know if YouTube is unsubscribing people, but yeah, I just don't understand. I don't know what's happening. So yeah, there is that. And what else did I have to talk to you about? I don't know, but I hope, I hope everybody's doing really good. Uh, it is Wednesday and I did my hair a little bit different because I'm so sick of wearing it the same way. Either I have a hat on, which I never used to wear hats, or uh, I'll put it up in a ponytail. Um, usually, typically I don't ever wear it like fully down, which is crazy, but I'm just, for work I have to have it up. And I have my Timu sweatshirt on, hopefully. I mean, this is one whole word. It's not like, not like one whole bad word. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for this. Isabella. Okay, maybe she got the treats out of her toy. I don't know. Hopefully not. If she did, I'm going to have to put more treats in there for her. So, uh, also I have a watch review to do, and this is a very nice smartwatch. Um, but I am going to review it within the next couple days. Hopefully I just wanted to wear it for a few days just to get like the idea of like the features and the options that it has. But so far I'm like really liking it. It has a lot of stuff on it. And I even put like my own little um, background on it. Don't know if you can see that, but it's like a little diamond cheetah. So yeah, I would really appreciate it if you guys would watch that video, that would be awesome. And if you like my videos, make sure you hit the like button. It's free, it's easy. I know it's a little more difficult on the TV, but um, you can always, I don't know. I mean, typically I watch videos, you know, all my, all my people, all my favorite people. I always watch them on my phone. Uh, every once in a while when I'm down here and I'm here by myself, I'll put YouTube on, on my TV. But usually when all of us are down here, we just, we'll watch a movie or watch shows or whatever. I feel like my camera is a little crooked. Hold up. Okay. There we go. So I'm excited. And I do have one thing from Sheen that came about a month late. And I'm, so I'm gonna show that at the end. Um, I have a couple little things I wanted to show you before we got into the Timu haul, if that's okay. So the first thing I wanted to show you, because I wore this lipstick yesterday and I got it from Timu and it's a beautiful color. I'm not gonna swatch it. I swatched it on another video and it's beautiful color because I, I'm constantly going with the same shades. I stick with the neutrals and I need to stop doing that. I need to transition into a different color range. You know what I mean? So, but this was supposed to be a matte. So it says ultra matte cosmetic butter lip cream. So that's kind of like to me, um, what's the right word? Like an oxymoron. Okay. So it's matte, but it's a lip cream and it's by Pico lovers and it is in the shade 16. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so it's really pretty. It's like this 
not quite red, but like dark, dark pink, like a, a lighter red, I guess you could say. So I wore it yesterday because I had to run a few errands. I went to the post office, had to return something, went to the bank. Uh, what else did I do? Stopped at the little convenience store up the street. But anyway, not that you care about any of that. Um, so I wore this and I always wear my MAC lip liner because my MAC lip liner is, is a lip liner that I swear by. It won't make your lipstick feather. It, it stays on. It's not one of those creamy lip liners that will feather. This is like a hard pencil. And you know, when I say hard, you have to like really like get it on there, but it doesn't come off. So I put my MAC lip liner on, I put this on. I looked in the mirror in the car with my daughter and my lipstick, probably after half an hour, my lipstick was, it. I look like a clown. My lipstick had feathered all up here. It was all like down here, halfway down my chin. I mean, it just looked ridiculous. So I, you know, fixed it up a little bit before we went into the store and then it did it again. So I do not honestly recommend this. And it's called Pico Lovers, P-E-C-O-L-O-V-E-R-S. Pico Lovers, Ultra Matte Cosmetic Butter Lip Cream. It's a shame because this is such a pretty color. And it was out of my, like I said, it was out of my color range and I liked it. Not for me. I might have to put more treats in her little treat thing there. So before I was filming this, I had my little setup going and Romeo was just literally sitting on this table that I have all of my stuff on. He was literally just sitting here staring in the middle of the ring light, which I thought was completely hilarious. And I will probably post a picture of that on my community tab because I thought it was so funny. And you can see my little YouTube in the background. Um, but yeah, if you want to check that out, it'll be on my community tab. And if you don't know where to find that, it's if you go to my page, I think it says uh, videos, shorts, community, just tap on community and you'll see, you know, all of my updates and whatnot. So we're in the store yesterday and I've been having these issues with my face lately. So I've kind of been breaking out and I'm getting these wrinkles on my forehead. And I don't know if you can see them real good right now, but they really bother me. And my mother she died when she was about 58, but my mother, she had these really um, deep wrinkles right here. And I don't know why she was such a very, very happy person. And it was almost like, um, you know, she never, I would, I would never saw her like frown. I would imagine you would only get them from frowning, but she had these very deep wrinkles here. So I decided to try this brand called The Ordinary, which I heard was amazing. And it's retinol, um, 0.5% in squalane okay now if anybody has used this please comment let me know if it works let me know if it did anything to your skin i tried it out this morning when i washed my face before i put my makeup on and you know hopefully it'll work now i've tried another item from the ordinary that was i believe red and it might have been some sort of peel oh my goodness after i used that my daughter and i both used it she was fine after i used that my face looked like a Rice Krispie treat. It was absolutely horrible. So I'm hoping, I didn't do the patch test because I'm too impatient to do that because I just wanted to get this on and try it out. So didn't do the patch test, which I probably should have, but I didn't. So hopefully it works well for me. But if you know anything about this, let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it if it works, whatever. It says the vis visible targets, textural and irregular, irregularities and signs of age. Sorry, it's hard for me to see, I don't have my glasses. And I don't wear my glasses because the ring light, I feel kind of would mess you up, so. But I got a lot of stuff here. Some of it was in my previous haul, you know, like the weird, odd, um, silly, fun Timu haul. If you missed it, watch it, it's fun, it's funny. It was a pretty, pretty cool haul. But I'll, they mixed a lot of my stuff that I have here into that haul. So when I was opening that bag, I wasn't prepared and had to keep taking things out that were for this haul, if that makes sense. 
So a lot of these things are not in the Timu bag and it's only because I took them out of that bag. Yeah, so anyway, let's get into it. Bella is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Oh, and I wanted to show you this picture in my background. Look how pretty this picture is. I have to frame it. I'm so bad at framing these pictures, but it's a picture of my city in black and white. But look how pretty that is. And I have to frame it and put it somewhere. I just don't know. Move it up a little closer, but my ring light is messing it up. I don't know where to put it. I don't. And then I have my little cardinal here. So those are cute. But yeah, that's, that's, that's something I also have to do. I have to do a lot of things. Put my retinol there. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Got my Stanley cup. Oh, and I wanted to show you after, after we finish with the Timu haul, I'm gonna show you, uh, I went, oh, I went to Sam's Club yesterday and I bought one of those huge four gallon jugs. And it looks like it's about 10 gallon, but it's only four and it's heavy as, so I'm trying to carry these big four gallon things of water. But on Shein, I bought one of those toppers. Instead of having your water in the polar water holder, for lack of a better word, uh, I just bought the jug and then I bought on Shein the little contraption that you put on top of the jug to, you know, release the water. But the little contraption that I bought from Shein does not fit on the Sam's Club water bottle. So it kind of leaks down the front, but I'm going to show you that because it's kind of cool. It has like a little spigot that comes off. I don't even know if you call it a spigot, like a little, little nozzle that comes off that you can um, just stick your cup under it and just press the button on top and your purified water comes out, which I'll show you at the end. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing I have now, I, did, I didn't price any of these items um, because the price has changed so much. So I can tell you one thing and in four hours, it'll probably be 50 cents to $4 cheaper or more expensive. But give me one second. I am going to refill Bella's treats. Okay, I'm back. So I put more treats in her little ball. Hopefully it keeps her busy for another, who knows how long we're already on 14 minutes and I didn't even get into my haul yet. But okay, let's do it. So the first thing I have here, it looks like a t-shirt. Hopefully it's a comfy t-shirt. Not shiny, spongy. Okay, it feels weird. It feels like a little suede -y, like like suede. Then I got it in a medium. I did my nails yesterday with my Model 1's uh, nail dip. So I put white on the bottom and then this glittery, I didn't know it would be like rainbow glitter, glitter on top, but I like it. Okay, so this says, life is short, take the trip, buy the shoes, eat the cake. For sure, I love the color of this. This is so cute. And it is, I got it in a medium. I maybe should have gotten it in a small because it does look a little bit wide. But that's okay. I mean, if I if I wear it with jeans, uh, I can always, you know, tuck in the front, maybe put like a little cute belt on with it. But it's nice. I mean, it feels really nice. Is it polyester? Probably. I mean, yeah, okay. So this is this is the perfect mix, okay? 60% polyester. I almost said 90. I'm so used to it. 60% polyester, 35%, 35. 35% rayon and 5% spandex. I'm getting tongue tied. How cute is that though? It's like a very, it's like a baby pink, like a very pale pastel pink, but that's so cute. And we got, what do we got on the front here? Okay, it's like the, the front or the back of a car. I'm not sure, honestly. It looks like, um. Do you see that? Looks like there's a boat going through it. And then there's there's like this guy standing behind it. I don't know. Do you remember that video that I did in the truck? I think it may have been like the purse haul or something, but everybody's like, 
oh, there's a guy, you know, in the back of the truck. And, you know, by that time, by the time I read the comments, it would have been too late. I probably would have been, you know, God forbid, I don't know where I would have been, but it would have been too late. Let's put it that way. Uh, but no, that was just Matt. He was, uh, he was working that day. So I decided to do my haul in the truck. But yeah, thank you so much for everybody in that video that was concerned for me. Too bad you couldn't just like, uh, you know, like FaceTime me real quick during the video or something and like, hey, hey Ash, there's a guy in the back of your truck creeping around. That's what that reminded me of though. So that's why I said that. Okay, so we have that. We have this little tiny bag, which has five items in it. Oops, did I hold up my address? I don't know. Let me try not to do that again. Yeah, I did probably, whatever. I should have brought down my little cloud. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit mad about my cloud though. My cloud razor cutter is failing me. It is failing me miserably. Maybe I'll get my pen knife out. Okay, so this was supposed to be in my other haul, my fun, silly, weird, goofy haul. Some of the items anyway. Okay, since there's five items, there's four. That's a lie. Quantity, five. Do you see that? Right there? Am I pointing to the right thing? Yes, quantity, five. No, there's not five, there's four, Timu. What are we missing? Oh, just kidding, that was my fault. There's five. There's five, sorry. I didn't see one of them, my bad. So this I thought was really neat. What I'm gonna put in it, I don't know. Uh, put in the comments down below what you think I could put in it, but Don't, nothing bad. I'm not putting anything bad in this, but it is a tiny little acorn and it's made of, it looks like real wood. Teeny tiny. Like it, it's like the size of a little bit bigger. Okay. So it's from this knuckle to my, the top of my fingernail. It's little, it's cute, but you can put stuff in it. You know, like medicine, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you can keep in there. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. I just thought it was cute. And it comes with a little hole on the top so that you can maybe put like a string around it where it is like a necklace. I don't know. I'm not wearing earrings because I already know that there's a pair in here that I'm super excited about. But yeah, this is cute. It's definitely cute. So I got two of those. I think this is one of those things where you had to choose, you know, you had to not choose. You had to buy two. So I bought two. They were super cheap, probably 79 cents, I think. A dollar max. So I got two of those. Okay, this I thought was funny. And this is perfect for me. So this is like a little coin. I'm sure I probably told you I'm very horrible at decision making, okay? So, oh, this is bad. I didn't realize there were bad words on it. Okay, so this is a coin, like flip a coin. Okay, so let's say, um, what are we gonna do? Am I gonna cook dinner tonight or not? Let's flip the coin. We'll see what it says. I can't even flip it, it's, it's so awkward. It's like very, it's like, it's bigger than a quarter Whoops, it's bigger than a quarter, but it's very light. It won't stay on my finger. Flip it. How about just like this? Okay, am I gonna cook dinner tonight? Okay, what's it going to be? It says, hell yes, decision coin. Okay, so if you are like me and you have a hard time making decisions, then you have this decision coin to use. The other side, I can't even cover it because it's so small, but it says, what's it going to be? And then it says, F, no. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to get some use out of this. I'm going to keep it in my pocket, actually, at all times. Keep it in my bra, I'll stuff it in my bra. Like those ladies that always pull the money. If, if you're one of them, 
more power to you. I don't, I mean, I, I probably could use, you know, some stuffing in there, maybe some, a lot of cash and put it in there and then it would look bigger. But uh, yeah. anyway, anywho, let's get back to it. So I bought these little poop shooters. I think that's what they're called. Well, this was supposed to be for the other haul. Okay, so you get, you get five little green poops. And then you get this little slingshot. So I guess you hook your their arm on, on here. I don't know how to do this, to be honest with you guys. Okay, and then you just fling the poop. I don't know if it's actually gonna work. Okay, let me let me flip his arms this way. Okay, turn your face around, fling the poop. Let's see, let's see if this works. This would be probably fun with the, the cats or the dogs. Okay, nope, I'm afraid. Like I'm afraid I'm gonna knock my camera down or hit the stop button. Okay, it's not flinging. Maybe I shouldn't pull so hard. Here we go. Okay, so we flung it. So that's that's a little bit that's a little bit difficult. This is what it looks like. It's a little face. It's cute. But I thought that was silly. That was supposed to be for my other haul. So I got a green one. And I got a blue one. Same thing. You need your five little poops and then your poop shooter, your slingshot. My watch keeps going off and I'm not sure why. It's probably because I'm flipping my wrist. Yeah, Ash, that's probably why. Okay, so we got those. Let's see what else. I got, what did I get? I don't even know. Okay, it looks like some pants. Oh, oh yeah, I did get pants. I remember these now. So these are actually leggings. I'm going to show you up close, but look inside. Look at that. They're fleece. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is perfect for me for winter when it's cold. Although it's like 60 degrees out right now. Go figure, go figure and get these now. Let's see if it goes all the way to the bottom. Okay. It does. So they're fleece lined leggings. And these look super comfortable. I think they're dark gray from what I can tell. Yeah, they're dark gray. The material on the, the material, okay, use your words, Ash, on the outside is not like the greatest. It's like a little bit um, rough, just a tiny bit, not, not a lot. But uh, they're nice. Let's see what they're made out of. Got them in a small. Okay, so the lint content, so this fleece is made out of 95% polyester, 5% uh, elastane. The fabric composition, the outside, is made of 88% polyester and 12% elastane. So not completely polyester, but Whatever, they're nice, they're comfortable. I'm gonna wear them, maybe I'll wear them for the next video, I'll let you know. They just feel a little bit weird, like crinkle, crinkly. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, they, they look a little crinkly. Like the, the material is permanently crinkled. But whatever, I'll still wear them, I don't care. If it keeps me warm, I'll wear them. Hopefully, I think the, uh, the groundhog saw his shadow now I live in um, Pennsylvania and we have this town. I don't know if you're familiar with it at all. It's called Punxsutawney and it's probably about, geez, I don't remember, probably about two hours from me. And I remember one, one year when I was much younger, uh, a couple friends of mine went to this party in Punxsutawney where the groundhog, Phil is his name, uh, you know, he comes out of his little hibernation hole and if he sees his shadow or if he doesn't see his shadow, that determines whether you have six more weeks of winter or whatever. I don't even know anymore, but 
Yeah, it was like this huge ordeal in this, you know, in this town. And it was cool. It was fun. Like we camped out. We, um, you know, and then in the morning, everybody goes over to see Phil. And if Phil sees the shadow. But, yeah, I don't even know where I was going with that story. Oh, so I'm hoping that it stays nice. But if it doesn't, I can wear those pants. That's where the story was going. Anyway, there's that. Stop, Isabel. Okay. The next thing we have, oh my gosh, this is so much tinier than I thought. So this is for my door. And it's just a little uh, decoration that comes with ribbon. So you can hang it. But it is definitely much smaller than I thought. Like, let me see, top of my hand. Yeah, it goes from like the top of my hand to about here. So it's like about this, this big, it's not big. It's not big at all. I thought it would be much bigger, but whatever. Home sweet home. Home sweet gnome. It's cute though. It's really cute. I like the colors. That. I'll stick with that. Oh, let's, let's get into this because I want to put my earrings in. I'm so weird about not wearing earrings anymore. And if you saw um, a couple other videos, I had these little heart earrings in and the little white hearts. And when we were in the store yesterday, my daughter said, Mom, your ears are really green. And I was like, oh my goodness. I didn't even notice. I did not even notice. So I immediately took them out while we were in the return line. Immediately took them out. And I'm wiping my ears and sanitizing my ears, trying to get them to not be green anymore. So those, if left in too long, will turn your ears green. So I haven't worn any since. But this comes in this pretty marbly box. And you just pull it out. There are your earrings. You got your GRA card. Really separated. Okay, so these are the earrings. And they are moissanite, which is why I got the GRA card. They're moissanite earrings. I got one out. The other one is like a, so it's like a double Ziploc bag. That's kind of weird. So you open this, this part, and then this is Ziplocked also. Strange. I've never seen a baggie like this. They're pretty though. I wanted dangly ones and I wanted moissanite earrings. I have moissanite rings and yeah, necklaces, but I wanted earrings. Let me see if I can show you. So this is the actual uh, moissanite gem right here. And then there's also moissanite gems that go halfway up. That's what the side looks like. It's so tiny, it's hard for me to even hold. And it looks like it just clips in. It's a very heavy duty clip. Couldn't barely open it. Oh, they're really pretty. My little butterfly. They're really pretty. I wish I could put on some background music in here. It's always so quiet when I'm talking. Oh, they're pretty. This ear is turning red. I don't know why, maybe because I was just messing with it. When I was talking about my green ears, that was embarrassing. I don't know how long they were like that. I didn't notice it. Okay, so we got the Moissanite earrings. I think they're about $15. Got those pretty things. What else do we have in this bag? Oh, we have a pretty necklace. Oh, that's pretty. The chain's not so great, but that's okay. You can change the, change the chain out. What's happening? Okay, this is strange. Oh, it's stuck. 
the chain, okay, the chain was stuck inside the little heart. Um, okay, it is adjustable. And it has these two little accent gems on each side. Do you see how it gets a little bit bigger? And then this is the necklace. And it looks like, let me look at it from the front. It's pink. It almost reminds me of like Saturn. If Saturn were a heart and there was a ring around it, that's what it reminds me of. <gasps> There's like this silver ring around the heart. And then up like in the top corner and the bottom corner, there are gems also. Not diamonds. Definitely not diamonds. Cubic zirconia, probably. I don't know. Not moist night. This is this is cheap. This is probably a dollar or something. Uh, but if there's anything you'd like, let me know and I'll just put it down in the link below or down in the comments below. Uh, okay, here's a little pocket hug. I love these things. I love these and you can find them so cheap and they're just so nice to, to keep handy, you know, in case somebody's having a bad day or you know, whatever, or you can just even just hide them around in the store. I've seen stuff like this in the store and I thought it was just the coolest thing. I didn't take it. I left it for somebody else. I think we, we were in, my daughter and I were in, I think Ross, if you're not from this area, it's like, um, like a TJ Maxx, but cheaper or a Marshall's, but cheaper, but it's cute. It's a little elephant and it's a little ear and trunk or hearts. But it's cute. But these were like 41 cents, maybe, not even. So I just stock up on them. I had a, uh, I think I told you this story. I had a little crocheted Siamese cat and it was, you know, like if you need a hug, blah, blah, blah. And it was holding like a little sign and it said, you know, something along those lines. And there was a woman at work who lost her cat. It was a Sphinx cat, but it was the same colors as a Siamese cat. Uh, she lost her cat, she was very upset. So I brought it in, cause she comes in all the time. I brought it in uh, and the next time she came in, I gave it to her and it just, she cried and I felt bad and, but she loved it. So, you know, it's just little things like that that make people feel good. So I'm gonna put some of this stuff back in my bag. Like I need more umbrellas, okay? I can buy an umbrella from the Dollar Tree and I have, I bought one for my daughter and one for her boyfriend for their stockings for $1.25. But, and I don't even like umbrellas. I don't know why I'm buying umbrellas, but I liked this umbrella. I don't like using them. I think they're a pain in the ass, honestly. Uh, I don't like carrying them around. They get everything wet, but I bought an umbrella. Imagine that. Cause I thought it was cute. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe my, you know, negativity towards umbrellas will change. We'll see. But this is like a, a plastic umbrella, but look how pretty it is. It almost looks like a pink and black lace. So pretty. And I know I'm not supposed to open this in my house. Don't really want to take you outside to do it. Let me see. Okay, come on, Ash, like in all your years of life and you don't even know how to put up an umbrella. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit different, I'm not gonna lie. It's not just me. I really don't wanna poke myself in the eye. There we go. Look how cute. So I'm not gonna put it up all the way. For those of you who are, who are superstitious, and I kind of am, maybe if I don't put it up all the way, I'll be okay. But yeah, how cute. It is cute. I like it. And maybe because I like it so much, I'll actually use it. It's weird though, it like folds up. And then you can never get them back to their original shape. You know, that's another issue I have with umbrellas. They never go back to the original perfect way of folding up. 
Now I'm gonna fold it up funky. I'm probably gonna break the strap. Yeah, here we go. See, see how good I did? Now I won't go back in the bag. All right, so on a positive note, that is a cute umbrella, right? I like it. They had a bunch of different designs. I don't know how much that was. Probably five or six dollars, I'm, I'm thinking. You know, it's funny because I can't remember what I ordered, but I kind of remember the prices of things, which is so ASS backwards. Okay. Next we have a hat, which, uh, you know what? Let me open this bag first. I'm gonna open this bag because there's something in here that I wanna put on. I'm just gonna use my nails because I don't trust my little, I don't trust my little cloud anymore. My cloud failed me. Well, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. And I'm gonna have to take my hair down to show you. So I'll probably, cause I'm not gonna be able to wear this hat, but I'll probably take my hair down and then I'll come back and show you the hat. I'll show you the hat and then I'll take my hair down. But this is different from my other hats that I have. This is kind of like, um, it's like foamy. It's like squishy foamy. Mesh back. It's not, it doesn't feel as comfortable as my other hats do that I got from Timu. Uh, it's okay. So this is going to go with something else that I have in this haul. It says, just a small town girl, which I am absolutely not. I'm a city girl. I live near the city. I've never been a small town girl. I've always wanted to. I like the South. I always wanted to, um, you know, move somewhere where they, they have those gorgeous trees with the moss that hangs down. I love that. I absolutely love those trees, Spanish moss, but small town girl, I'm not, but I have plans for this hat and something else in this bag. So that's why I got it. So I am going to now take my hair down and then I'm gonna put this hat on and I will be right back. Okay, so I have the hat on. My hair is all funky. I did get my new hair in the mail. I'm super excited about this. So here's the hat. It's comfy, it's actually comfortable. I like it. I do like it. It's just squishy. It's like spongy right here. And even here it feels, yeah, it's like real foamy. It's like this much foam, but it's, it's comfortable. The netting doesn't bother the back of my head. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so let's get into the shirt that's gonna go with it. And I thought I got a t-shirt, but I'm glad I got a sweatshirt. And like I said, I have big plans for this. And I feel like I keep looking over here when I should be looking over there. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. How cute. I was gonna say, it looks like it's um, separating, like splitting, but I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. In Dolly, we trust. Guys, this sweatshirt feels amazing. And I got it oversized. Maybe I had to, I don't know. Sometimes they say, you can only get, um, you know, XL and up. So maybe that was one of the, my hair is naughty. Maybe that was one of the things that I had to just deal with, but cute. How cute. It's gonna be long enough. Now I almost got a cowgirl hat but uh, I thought that would be a little bit overboard, you know? So I just went with this one, pink, match the pink in the sweatshirt. And that'll be, that'll be something fun that we're gonna do. Yes, zero XL, which is fine. I'm fine with the oversized. I've learned to like the oversized better because it will definitely fit my arms. So this is what the inside looks like. 
and it is, wow. See, this is so crazy. Okay, so it is 100% polyester. It, you would never know. Like this is a soft, comfy, not spongy, not shiny, not gym material sweatshirt. It's nice. And it's real like thin, but not, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just really nice. I like that a lot. Okay, that's cool. I'm really happy with that one. Super excited. Now that I have hair all over it. My hair gets everywhere. Everywhere. It's always bound up in my vacuum. Okay. So that was cute. What do we have next? Next we have, I don't know. Okay, this looks interesting. What did I get? Oh, I thought this was one piece. No, these are multiple pieces. Okay, so I got these. They're kind of funny looking. And what it is, is a piece of fabric with like this foam roller in it and that has metal. So this is for when you want to curl your hair. So say you want to curl your hair, you would just, my 24 inch long hair, I don't know how well this will work. So your hair is wet, let's just say your hair is wet. You put this in it, you curl it up. You know, just like the old curlers we used to have. Remember those curlers you, we used to have in like the uh, case and they heat it up and then you would have to use those annoying little clips to clip on each end. Okay, so then you would fold this over, fold that one over, and then there we go. And then you can either dry it or you could just let it air dry, which I would probably just let it air dry. I don't know how comfortable it would be to sleep in, but yeah, that's neat. I just like all these different hair drying tools because I don't like to always dry my hair. I know it's bad for your hair. I do have a heat protectant, but Let's see, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you get ten of them. And again, I think they were really cheap. Those, those are cool. Useful. I'll get some use out of that. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I buy. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I think things are really cool at the time and then I get them and I'm like, what in the world, Ash? Okay, so these are Shape Your Body. These are not for me. These are for Matt. So we have like this really nice punching bag in the garage that needs to be used. And uh, so these are hand wraps. Don't know how to use them. I'm, I can't even begin to try to show you because I have no idea how to use them, but this is what they look like. They look like an ace bandage. Shape your body. So I'm assuming you just like wrap it around your, your wrist probably, and then your hand, maybe halfway up like to your knuckles. I'm assuming that's what you do. And then, so you don't have to wear the boxing gloves. You can just wear this and it keeps your wrist from, you know, getting injured broken, sprained, whatever. So we have two hand wraps for all the men out there, all you ladies, your husbands, whatever, hand wraps, or even ladies. I mean, maybe some ladies are into it. I always thought it would be cool to take like a kickboxing class or, you know, something like that. I'll have to put that on my list. I feel like I'm talking so much. I want to show you my little polar water thing. It's really cool. Okay, next we have a shirt. And I cannot get enough of these. I, I, I just can't. I, I can't stop buying them. When I see them, I buy them. I know it's not good. Oh, the material, guys. Girls, ladies. Gentlemen, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so soft. 
see this is what i love this is what i love and if you find something that is perfect material then go to that same seller more than likely they'll have the same material in other styles or designs so little tip and trick rock on gold dust woman and it's like in this real pretty blue almost looks bluish gray on camera but Real pretty, look at that though. How pretty. Oh, and it's so soft. It is so soft. I cannot wait to see what the material is. If it's polyester, I'm gonna be absolutely floored. Floored. Now, it's the perfect blend. Here we go again. 60% polyester, 35 rayon, five spandex. That is the perfect blend. Do I ever check the blend when I'm on Timu? No, I don't, ever. Do I need to? Yes, I sure do, but I don't. Oh my gosh, that is so comfortable. Wow. Now I just want to get more of these. Any any Stevie Nicks t-shirt, any memorabilia, anything Stevie Nicks, I get, well, I don't get it all, but you know, what I see I get typically, or it's sitting in my cart with the 455 other things. Wow. I am like, I am thoroughly impressed with that. And I have a feeling it was probably right around six or seven dollars, which is amazing for a t-shirt and I love it. I mean, you go to a concert, which I've get, been to several and the t-shirts there are outrageous. They're probably at least 30, $40. And that one was seven, so yeah, good deal. Okay, next we have in this little tiny box it says 50 piece, what in the world? Oh, this is so much tinier than I thought. Oh my gosh, but it's so cute, it's so cute. Look how cute. It says 100% love. And they are these little pills that have smiley faces on them. And little heart eyes. It comes with a little cork top. So, if my mind serves me correctly, which maybe doesn't. Wait, some of them don't have heart-shaped eyes. This one doesn't. This one just has little dot eyes. Can you see that? Okay. Now I think if you open this, check it out. So you open the little pill and there's a tiny little piece of paper in it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Like this is so cute. Look at how cute this is. I almost don't want to take it off. And then it's wrapped with like this little gold metal ring. I'll never be able to get back on. I'm gonna lose it first. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I should probably eat. Okay. It says nothing, but that's okay because you can write your own little sayings on here. See, I'm showing you nothing. But how cute is that? Oh, and you can write little sayings and then just, you know, give them to somebody. How cute. Or maybe even like, um, like little date night ideas, you know, like let's go out for steak or something like that. That that's more like my speed because, because I'm so indecisive. It would be like, okay, let's, let's choose a pill and see where we're going, see what we're doing. Okay, oh, they, they each have little little different faces. Okay, so this one has like little squinty eyes. Hold on. I'm like so mesmerized by these little things. I don't know why. Do you see that? Let me see if I can find a little heart. Not that it matters. You guys know what a heart looks like, but they're cute. Here's one. They're so cute. There's 50 of them. Aww. How cute is that little jar? I'm trying to get a thumbnail. I just think that that's, geez, these little things, like they, I thought the jar was bigger, but it's okay. It's, it's okay this small. I'm okay with it. I'm completely happy. That's the cutest little thing I've seen in a long time. That is so cute. Like I almost want more. See, that's, that's where it gets me because the things that I like, I just have to stock stockpile them. It's ridiculous. 
I don't know why I do that, but that's that's a bad habit that I have. Okay, I think I have what? Is there anything else in this bag? No. Okay. So I have a couple more things and then my Shein, my Shein order. Um, this box. Okay. I wish I had my my scissors or something. I feel like now I have cat hair in my eye. I always have to bend the brim because I don't like when it's like this. It's not a good look for me anyway. Okay, let's just try to rip this tape. We might have to use our teeth. Maybe, I don't know. What is it? Oh, wow, okay. Maybe this is what I was thinking of. Oh, regardless, how cute. Yes, this is what I was thinking of with the other jar. Now this is a little jar of big ideas, handmade. Okay, so you got papers in here. These ones are written on. Okay, so let's see. So where are we gonna go tonight? Friends, where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm not good at this, but we can try. Build a campfire. I am in nowhere near an area to build a campfire, but that's okay. I mean, yeah, let's pick a different one. <laughs> okay. I have to close my eyes. It's like, like I already know what they say, which I don't. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Shop for charity. That's cool. That See, that's cool. These are so neat. And you can even make these yourself. Just get a little jar and cut up some paper. <laughs> now, the reason I bought these was because I'm horrible with coming up with the ideas. So this helps me. So I would buy the jar and I would buy the paper and then I'd be sitting there like, mm, I don't know any ideas. So this helps, that's cute. That's super cool. I like that. I like that a lot. How neat. Like, the things you can find on there is, is just, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, two more things. A hat. Another hat. This is an army green hat. And it's kind of a different style of hat. I don't know what style you would call this. If you know, let me know in the comments below. I don't know what this is called, but it's like one of those not, you know, round hats. It's a flat hat on top, but has a cute buckle on the side, probably not adjustable, just decoration. What time is it? Quarter after three. I'm already at 57 minutes. Okay, so let's try this hat on. Could be a little tighter. It is adjustable in the back though, which is good. Will I be able to get it? Probably not. Whatever, just leave it like that ash. It'll just be a little bit, a little bit loose, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, so there's that. So dark though. Maybe in this lighting. I can't even tell it's green. I kind of like my dolly hat better. Well, not really a dolly hat. My small town girl hat. Cause that's, cause I'm not, that's what I'm not. It's okay. Not everybody knows that, right? So you got that cute hat and I will wear this. I have one, I had ones like this years ago, a gray one and I used to wear it all the time. So I definitely will wear that. And I do put things back in the packages because A, I don't like them to get ruined. I like to keep them in their packages until I use them or figure out who to give them to. And that's another thing. I put them back in their packages for either giveaways or, you know, as gifts. So I don't like to just take them out of the package and throw the package away. That's just me. That's, that's why I do what I do. You get it? Okay. This looks like an interesting t-shirt. 
Very colorful. Okay, it's shiny. Mmm, it's shiny. Okay, what does it say? I have no idea. Al's Burgers. Dine in 24-7. Shakes, fries, hot dogs, meals, specials, oh, meal, meals specials, dot grill. But look at the cars, how cute. Look at the little diner. How neat. I wish it wasn't shiny. Do you see? You can tell how shiny it is on camera. I can, I can tell. And it's dark gray. It's very wide. I don't know what size I got. Probably a medium. Doesn't even say up there. Hmm. Yeah, medium. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Okay. That's okay. I mean, I'll still wear it. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. See, this would be cute with like a, a light pair of jeans, you know, in the summertime, jean shorts, and then a cute pair of tennies. I mean, you can literally wear any color with this. It is very soft. I will say that, but it's, it's, it's not good soft. Sorry. I'm like, it's, 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 I was just at a loss for words, <laughs> but it's, it's comfort. It's comfortable. Whatever. Okay. Now the last thing is from Shein. Shein, Sheen, whatever. The thing that I was waiting on and I had to open it because I'm like, what in the world is this? It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like a uh, Timu and it's coming from a woman named Erica, which I never ordered anything from Erica. So I had to open it just to like see what it was. But these are supposed to be like an Ugg dupe Hopefully they're the right size. Okay, yes. US 5 to 6, EU 36, 37. Okay, so that is my size. Mental note. EU 36, 37. An Ugg dupe, a bear paw dupe. Ooh, okay. They were folded in half and I'm like, okay, these look cheap and chintzy, right? But I don't know. Maybe not. I wish they wouldn't give me this plastic. You know, like, bags like this is okay, but, like, that plastic is... Oh, it gets under my skin. As I keep touching it. I wish they weren't all bent up like this. Okay, so this is what they look like. Oh, see, so this is what they look like. Would help if I turned it around, Ash. Here we go. Let's see how they're wrinkled. It kind of stinks. But they do have like a decent sole. I don't know what's happening here. We got a little extra and just tucked it in or something. I don't know. Okay, so they're, what I say they were? Five, six. Okay, cool. They should fit. This is very furry and it does go all the way inside. Okay, again, this is not Timu. This was Shein. But it was just something that I had to, I mean, I didn't have to show you, but I figured I would. Some of you guys shop on Shein, right? Yeah, they fit perfectly. And now with my cute coral socks that I got from Timu, yeah, they fit perfectly. I mean, I got like this much in the back. See, that much. Yeah, but they're cute. And hopefully the, um, Hopefully the wrinkles come out. I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't know how they would come out. My foot's very, very skinny and small. So it's not like, um, like my foot's not gonna be pushing up on this to stretch it out by any means, but you know, I can deal with it. I'll deal with it. I'll wear them around the house. I can't get enough slippers, honestly. Slippers, and now I'm on this like nightgown kick. I don't know why. I get on these certain kicks where I like a nightgown and then once you, you know, click on it and then it shows you 500 million other nightgowns 
and they're not like night, you know, they're, they're cute nightgowns, like cute, comfy nightgowns, but it's nice. That way you can just put it on one thing as opposed to putting on two. It just, yeah. Yeah. And anyway, so that is my haul. That was fun. Hold on. Okay. So that was my haul. I hope everybody liked it. Um, please make sure you, I mean, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it if you commented, liked, you know, subscribed if you're not yet. And if you are, please check and make sure you still are. So that way you get notified. Uh, and yeah, so there we have it. I hope you guys, you know, have a great rest of your day, week. I don't know when I'll be back. I think I have two orders coming. One is a, a kind of like a sponsored haul for my seed money. The other one is stuff that I ordered with my own money, which 99% of this is with my own money. So, you know, any, any like, any share, any comment, anything helps for sure. But you know, I appreciate you guys so much and I love reading your comments and I love just, I just love this. I just love talking to you and just all of it. I just love it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to, I guess because of the coin, go cook dinner. Thank you coin. Maybe that coin wasn't such a great idea, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon and have a good night. Stay sweet. Bye.